So today's video is another video in the Hachette Disney Crochet Granny Square Blanket series. Today we're moving on to issue 40 which is the Minnie Mouse polka dot square and when finished it will look like this image just here. We're using just the two colours for this one so we have got the bright red and we have got the white. We will be using the white for the popcorn stitches in amongst the square. The white isn't purely just for the border this time. So I don't think there's anything else left to say today so let's just get straight into it. So for this square we're starting off with the bright red and we're starting off with a slip knot on our 4mm hook. We then want to make four chains. One, two, three, and four. We then want to count back four stitches and do a slip stitch into that first chain that we made so we end up with a circular shape. For round one, we're chaining three. One, two, three. And now we want to work with the treble stitch into the centre of the ring that we just made. So we want to yarn over, pull both sides of the ring apart so you find the centre. I'm just trying to catch it on camera there. Can you see the middle of it just there? You can see two holes just there. It's the one down the bottom rather than the one at the top. The one at the top is one of the stitches. So don't go into the stitch, go into the centre of the ring and pull up a loop so you've got three on your hook. You're then yarning over and pulling through two, yarn over and pull through two again. We then want to repeat that stitch. So into the centre, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you've done three chains and two trebles. We then want to chain two and we want to do three trebles into the ring this time. There's one, two and three. So we've done two chains followed by three trebles and we need to repeat that the amount of times it says in the magazine under round one. All those new to this video, these videos are purely for tutorials to help the people that subscribe to the Hachette Disney Crochet magazines. These are not my patterns. I cannot give the full pattern in the video due to copyright. So I cannot give away the full instructions. So if you repeat the two chains followed by three trebles into the ring, the amount of times that it says under round one, I'll meet you at the end of the round and show you what you need to do from there. So I've done my two chains followed by three trebles, the amount of times it says under round one. When you've done your last three trebles, you need to chain one. You then need to find your third chain out of those three chains you did at the beginning. And we're going to go in through that one and do a double crochet. So pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. We're not doing a slip stitch at the end like we would normally do. So for the start of round two, we want to start off by making three chains. One, two, and three. We then want to make a treble into the corner space. So we're going to yarn over, pull both sides apart so you can see your corner space, and pull up a loop so you've got three on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through two and then yarn over and pull through two again. So for the next few stitches we're going to be switching between the bright red and the white so I will show you what you need to do from here. You want to yarn over and we're going to make half a treble essentially. So what you need to do is go into your first stitch at the top of the first treble, if it will, because mine won't. There we go. And pull up a loop so you've got three on your hook. You're then yarning over and pulling through two. And here is where we change colours. So we're not fastening the red off. 
we're going to take our white and put it over our hook like so and draw that one through the last two loops on our hook. If you then pull on your working yarn from your red it will tighten the loose stitch that you've got here and you can then pull on the white but pull on both to tighten the stitch that you've got there as well. And now we need to move on to using the white in the next stitch and we're going to be doing a popcorn stitch. So make sure you're not using your non-working yarn here. Pick up your working yarn and for our popcorn stitch we need to make five trebles into the next stitch. So yarn over. It might help to hold on to the non-working tail of the white here because nothing is securing it otherwise you might keep pulling it through. So we're yarning over and we want to go, you see where we've done those three trebles from the last round, this time we're going into the middle treble. So into the middle treble and pull up a loop, you've got three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You can now pull that non-working tail to make that loop tighter at the top. And now that it is fixed, you don't need to hold on to it any longer. We then need to do another four trebles into that same stitch where we've just done that first treble in the white. So go into the same stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and three more trebles into that stitch. So there is one, two and three and in total you will have done five trebles into that center treble stitch from the last row once you've done that pull that loop so you don't lose where you are and i would pull your non-working tail slightly as well so this one isn't too loose either but you do need to put your hook back through that first white stitch that we did. You will have five V's along the top from the five trebles that we have just done. You want to go into the first one. Once we've got that stitch on our hook, we want to put our hook through the loop that we have got waiting, the one that we pulled quite long to make sure that we didn't lose it. Now normally for a popcorn stitch we would pull that loop straight through the stitches that we've got on our hook and we would end up forming the popcorn stitch but we do need to change colour. So I'm going to drop that white that I've got in my hand and pick up the red. Make sure you pick up the working tail and not the non-working tail. I'm going to pick up the red and we will then be putting that over our hook and pulling it through that first loop and then the other two stitches. You can then pull on your white until you have bent that popcorn stitch round and formed it into the puff that it should be. We're then going back to using the bright red that we've got on our hook so we need to make a treble into the next stitch. So we're yarning over going into the next stitch and pulling up a loop. Remember like we have done for other squares but we haven't done for a while. It's not a good idea to keep fastening off your colours when swapping at the back because you will end up with hundreds of different ends to sew in. The best thing to do is to carry your colours along and by that I mean when I'm doing my treble I'm yarning over I'm then putting the white on top of my work here. So when I go into my next stitch and I pull up a loop, my white is then caught in between the stitch that I have just made. So when I yarn over and pull through two, you can see the white is in the center of the stitch and it will mean it's then moving alongside with what we're doing and I'm not leaving it behind here and stretching it across my project when I need to use it in the next stitch over here. 
I hope that makes sense. Anyway, yarn over again and finish off that other treble. Into the corner space, we're doing two trebles, two chains, two trebles. So yarn over and into your corner space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and there is one treble. And my next I'm then chaining two and working another two trebles. One and two into that corner space. And you will notice how my white is still sticking out of the last stitch because as I have just described for the stitch I did over here, I've made sure it is carried the whole of the way around because we are going to be switching to a different color to the white again very shortly. So we're going to repeat what we've done for the center three trebles from the last row here into these three trebles just here. So we are doing a treble into the next, so yarn over and into your next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. We're now going to switch to the white, so drop your red and pick up your white yarn, yarn over and pull through two just to finish off that first treble. We're now going to be doing our popcorn stitch into the next stitch. So for the popcorn stitch, we want to do the five trebles into the next stitch. And again, I'm carrying over my red yarn because I'm using the white now. So I will do all of my stitches over the red tail that I've got here. So yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And my red is coming through the middle of that stitch. There's one done. I need to do another four into that same stitch. Two, three, four, and five. Now just like before, I'm slightly raising that loop so I don't lose it. I'm then going in through that first stitch that first V that first treble that I did and I'm then putting my loop from the white back on my hook to look like this we now need to change back to the red again so I'm yarning over with my red and I'm then going to pull through all of those stitches that are on my hook with the red and we've now completed that stitch and I can do the next stitch with the red. So yarn over and we're doing a treble into the next stitch. Make sure to carry your white over. Into my next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm now at my next corner. And just like before, into the corners, we are doing two trebles, two chains, two trebles, and I'm still carrying my white. So into my corner space there, I'm doing one treble, two treble, two chains, and one two more trebles. I will carry on because this is quite complicated. I'll carry on showing you for the next two sides, completing it with you in the video. So the next step is to do a treble into the next stitch. So I'm yarning over and I'm going into the first treble of the last round, pulling up a loop. I'm yarning over and pulling through two. You should have your white, if you've carried it, you should have it coming out of that stitch that we've just made there. So yarn over and pull through both loops onto your hook. We're then going to do another popcorn stitch. So yarn over and we're doing five trebles into the next stitch. And remember to carry over your red working yarn. 
so there's one two three four and five pull that one slightly loose so we don't lose it we're going back in through our first white stitch that we did there putting that loop back on our hook we're then going to switch over to the red colour again yarn over and pull through all loops on our hook yarn over and do a treble into your next stitch making sure to carry over the white and in our corner we are doing two trebles two chains two trebles there's one and two chain two and two more trebles into that corner space there's one and two so one more side left to go treble into the next stitch yarn over and pull through two and now we're switching to the white so pick up your white yarn over and pull through those two loops now carry your red and do five trebles into the next stitch one two three four and five pull that one loose so you don't lose it in through your first white stitch and put your loop back on your hook pull it tight take your red over your hook and pull through all loops that are on your hook and then you can pull any of those working yarns just to secure that remember to carry your white so we are doing a treble into our next stitch so yarn over into your next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we have almost completed believe it or not that was just our second round that seems to have taken a very long time so at the end we are doing two trebles into the corner space still carry your white there's one and two we then want to chain one and we want to do a double crochet into our third chain so count up three chains from the beginning of the round go in through and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both stitches and we have done our first round of the mini mouse polka dot square you will find that this stitch is loose here and that's because we haven't secured the end from the white where we joined it yet so you can pull on that one just to tighten it if you wish i would also say take this opportunity at the end of every round or even more so if you need to i don't know if you can see here but the mess of tangles that i've got because every time you're switching colors you are wrapping them around each other and everything is getting twisted so pause the video here if you've got any tangles in your yarn just untwist them before it gets too difficult and you can't untwist them and then we will carry on with round three so for round three we want to start by chaining three using the red one two and three we're then doing one treble into our corner space but remember to carry the white so yarn over into your corner pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we then want to do 
a treble into each of the next three stitches. So yarn over and you will have three red stitches here the, from the last row that we need to go into. So still carrying the white, I'm going into my first treble from the last round and doing one. Then into my next, still carrying the white and there's my second and then into the next treble from the last round there is my third. I'm just going to pull on the white non-working tail just to tighten that one again slightly. We then want to do one more treble into what they count as the back of the pop and that is because the next stitch where I've just tightened that V just there is behind the popcorn stitch. So I'm going to go into the white one and do a treble into that one. And then I'm going to do a treble into each of the next three stitches, still carrying the white along. There's one, two, and three. And we're now at our first corner. Into the corners for round three, we want to do two trebles, two chains, and two trebles. So I'm still carrying the white. There's one, two, chain two, and two more trebles into the corner space. There's one and two. So you can continue along. There's seven stitches or seven trebles along the tops of each of the stitches here. So you've got three trebles into the three red stitches, a treble into the white stitch and three trebles into the next three red stitches. Your corners are two trebles, two chains, two trebles. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I'm now back at my first corner. And before we go any further, make sure you've carried that white yarn along because I didn't for my round and I just had to go back and undo it all and do it all again. So don't make the same mistake I did. Going into that first corner space, or our last corner now I should say, is two trebles. There's one and two. We then want to chain one and we're finishing off with a double crochet into our third chain. So into your chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both and you have finished round three. For round four, we're going to be making popcorn stitches and switching colours again. We want to chain three, one, two and three. We're then going to be doing a treble into that corner space, so make sure you carry your white along, yarn over and do that stitch over the white to make sure that you catch it. We then want to do a treble into each of the next two stitches, but we are going to change our colours on our second treble. So yarn over, remember to carry your white, into your first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're changing colours on our next treble. So yarn over, into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Switch to your white, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. We then need to use the white to do five trebles for our popcorn stitch into our next stitch, but remember to carry over your red. So there is one, two, three, four, and five. Loosen that one slightly. In through your first white stitch and put your loosened white loop back on your hook. Pull that one tight, take your red over your hook 
and through all the loops that are on your hook and then pull on your white just to tighten that one. We're then going to use the red to do a treble in the next five stitches and we're changing colours on the fifth. So yarn over. Into your next stitch remember to carry your white. There's one treble into my next stitch. There's two, three, and four. We're then going to change colours in the next stitch. So yarn over with the red into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. We then want to swap to the white to yarn over and pull through both stitches left on our hook. We're going to do a popcorn stitch into the next stitch, so yarn over and carry your red and do five trebles into your next stitch. So there's one two, three, four and five. Loosen that one in through your first white, put your loop back on your hook and tighten it, get your red, put it over your hook and put it through all loops on your hook and then tighten your white. We're then carrying our white and we need to finish off this round with a treble into each of the next two trebles left. So yarn over, carry your white and do a single treble into each of the next two stitches. And we're now at our first corner. Into the corner, remember to carry your white and we are doing two trebles, two chains, two trebles. Would help if I yarned over first, wouldn't it? So yarn over and do one, two, two chains and two more trebles. Into that corner space. So, I understand this one's quite complicated, but I can't film the whole square due to copyright reasons and purely because this would be like a three hour long video if I were to keep filming all of it. So, if you found that side quite hard, by all means just rewind back to the beginning of it and you can keep going round showing you how to do that side. But essentially, what you are doing is two trebles in the red, remember to switch colours on the second treble. Then you're doing a popcorn stitch in the white, five trebles in the red, switching colours on your fifth treble, one popcorn stitch in the white, and then switching colours and doing two trebles in the red again. Your corners are two trebles, two chains, two trebles. So just to say that again, it's two red trebles, one white popcorn, five red trebles, one white popcorn, two red trebles. Corners are two trebles, two chains, two trebles in red. Remember to carry your working, your, sorry, remember to carry the yarn that you're not using around the back so you're not ending up fastening off and ending up with your ends and I will meet you at the end of the round. So for the end of round four, we are then going into our corner space, remembering to carry our white, and we need to do two trebles into that space. There's one and two. Chain one. And then we're finishing off with a double crochet into the third chain. So put your hook through. Remember to carry your white to place it over your hook as well. 
pull a loop through, yarn over and pull through both and you've finished round four. I'd fully advise you here again to untangle your yarn before you carry on. So moving on to round five and this will be a another round without any popcorn stitches so we're not making any colour changes but still need to remember to carry along the white yarn at the back ready for round six when we will be using it again. So for round five take your red and chain three. One, two and three and then do a treble into your corner space. So yarn over into your space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We're then doing trebles all the way along to the next corner, single trebles into each stitch. I will do a few with you. I'm not telling you exactly how many there should be, obviously due to the copyright reasons. So if you yarn over and into your first stitch, pull up a loop and I've done my first treble. There's my second. Number three, number four, still carrying the white along. And after four, you will be at a white stitch. So remember to do one into that white. So carry along with your trebles along this row and I will meet you at your first corner. I've done all my trebles along to my first corner. In the corner I am doing two trebles, two chains and two trebles. There's one treble, two, two chains and another two trebles. One and two. So if you continue along with your trebles along the top, again, I'm not going to say exactly how many there should be. Your corners will be two trebles, two chains, two trebles. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So for the last corner of round five, we are doing two trebles into the corner space. Remember to carry your white. And there's one. and two, chain one, and then finish off with a double crochet in the third chain, again remembering to carry your white. So pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both, and that is the end of round five. We're now moving on to round six, and this is another popcorn round, so we're going to be changing colours. Chain three, one, two and three and then we want to do one treble into your corner space after that we are doing a treble into each of the next two stitches but changing color on the second stitch so yarn over into your first pull up a loop and remember to carry your white so I've just done one treble and now I'm doing my second where I'm going to change colours so pull that one up yarn over and pull through two I'm then switching to my white yarning that one over and pulling through the loops I'm then going to do a popcorn stitch into the next stitch so there's five trebles into your next stitch one, two, three, four, and five. Pull up your loop, go in through your first stitch and put the white back on, tighten the loop, get your red, 
yarn over and pull through the loops on your hook and then pull your white to tighten your stitch. We are then doing a treble into each of the next six stitches. Remember to carry over your white. There's one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm on my sixth, so I'm going to change colours and do a popcorn stitch into the next. One, two, three, four, five, pull your red through the stitches, pull your white tight. We're then doing a treble into each of the next six stitches. So carry your white. One, two, three, four. Five and remember to change colours on your sixth. Popcorn stitch into your next stitch. One, two, Three, four, and oh, five. Yarn over with your red, pull it through all loops. Pull your white tight. We then want to do a treble into each of the next two stitches. So there's one, and two. Into the corner we're doing two trebles, two chains, two trebles. Remember to carry your white. One, two, chain two, and two more. One, and two. So I'm going to continue with the rest of the round off camera. Again, because that's quite a complicated row, you can rewind back to the start of this row if you need to know what you're doing. But essentially you are doing two trebles, one popcorn, six trebles, one popcorn, six trebles, one popcorn, two trebles. And your corner is two trebles, two chains, two trebles. Remember to carry your colours across the row and also remember that you need to change colour in the treble before your popcorn stitch. I'm going to go all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the row. So I've gone all the way around for round six and I've done the last popcorn stitch and then two trebles in the red. So we just need to finish off the corner space now. Make sure that you're still carrying the white for doing the corner space because we will be using the white for the border which is the next round so we want to make sure that we've got that one available to use when we finish this round. 
So what we want to do is do two trebles into the corner space. So yarn over, remember to carry over your white. So we're going into the corner space. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then repeat that stitch again into the corner. We then need to chain two. And we're finishing off with a slip stitch into the third chain. So count up three on your chains, pull that one through and then pull that one through again. So that is the colours finished for this square. So you can now fasten off the red. Pull that one through. And it's actually completely up to you what you want to do here for the white. So the magazine suggests to fasten that one off and then join it again to the corner. And what that will do is make sure it's fastened off here and then you've got to join it in your corner space. If you were to decide just to keep that one attached, it means that you probably will end up with a line like this at the back which may be visible from the corner spaces just like I don't know if you can see if I put my hand behind you can see the white come up from each round before I am actually going to keep it attached and just keep going because I have got the white there from all of the rounds before so I may as well just keep going with it like it is so just to show you the back, it should be quite clean if you have carried your yarn properly. It's very difficult to carry at the end of the round when you're joining in like your third chain or whatever, then moving on to the next round. And that is why we end up with the lines here. But aside from that, you shouldn't actually be able to tell anywhere that you've carried your colours because they should all, I don't know if you can see, if I stretch it a bit, like you can see the white through here and it's because it's threaded, it'll go up in a line along there and then a line along there. It's all hidden in between the stitches of the previous rounds. So if you aren't backing your blanket, it's definitely a better option to carry your wool throughout and you end up using more wool, of course, because it's going all of the way around your square but it is the neater option and it gives you less ends to sew in, which of course is the way better option for everyone because who wants to darn in ends? So anyway, shall we get on with the border? So for the border, for those that have fastened off their white, you just need to join it to any of your corner spaces. For those that are keeping it attached, I am putting my hook through that corner and pulling the white through and I'm then chaining two. After that we want to do a half treble into the next four stitches. We're not doing a half treble into the corner space. So the four stitches are the last four red trebles of the last round. So yarn over into your stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. There's one. And again into the next stitch, yarn over into your next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. There's two, three and four. We want to do one half treble into the white stitch. And then one in the next six red stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. One into the white stitch. 
one into the next six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, one into the white stitch, one into the next four red, one, two, three, and four, and now you're at the corner. So into the corner we're doing one half treble, two chains, one half treble. One half treble, two chains, and one half treble. So for the border, you're essentially doing one half treble into each stitch along. The corner is one half treble, two chains, one half treble. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I've gone all the way around for my border. Into the last corner, you want to do one half treble. We're then chaining two, one and two, and join with a slip stitch into the second chain you did at the start. And that one's finished. So we can fasten that one off. Pull that one through. And there we have it. That is the Minnie Mouse polka dot square from issue 40 of the Hachette Disney crochet series. I don't know about you guys, but I am so glad that that is over. <laughs> I don't mean to be a bit harsh, but I'm sure you can tell by the length of this video that this square, like the last video before this, the 100 acre wood square, I think the video was 21 minutes long. This video, I imagine by the time I finished edited everything and put it all together, we're looking at at least an hour. This square has taken me so long to do and that's someone that has been crocheting for a very long time. So I'm quite worried about how long it's going to take all you guys to do as well. I guess for me, I feel that this type of popcorn stitch just isn't worth it. I think it looks quite scrappy and it looks quite messy because where we bend it round and we put the loop through the loop that's already on our hook, we're like creating a circle kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Because we're bending the stitch around and going through one and it creates this like hole in the top of the stitch and it just means that we've got like these loose like the stitches that we did at the top, they're all loose everywhere. And like you could put your hook in through any of that because it's created like a, like a little pocket, I guess. And because we've gone around the square in different directions, they're all facing different ways. And I just think it looks a bit messy, which is quite unfortunate because I feel that if this square was done with a different type of popcorn stitch, one that was quite tidy and quite uniform, this would actually look quite nice. Um, and it's a real shame, especially when it has taken so long. I just think it looks quite unprofessional for the amount of time that it took. And I haven't looked ahead for what other um, squares we've got to do. But if there are any other squares that require a popcorn stitch, I might actually in the video show you a different type of popcorn stitch just to give you that. I mean, it's it's no more complicated than with the ones that we're already doing. It's basically exactly the same. It just ends up a bit neater. So I might show you another one in another video um, if we do ever have to do it again. And actually, this is something that I need all your help on. It would really be helpful if you could put in the comments below if you would prefer me to do that. So if there's ever a stitch that I think doesn't look as nice as an alternative, if you want me to suggest other ways of doing it, and I will keep both ways in the video, 
I will just show you an alternative option which I think would look better. If you would like me to do that, please do say in the comments below because otherwise, without you guys telling me what you want, I don't know what you want essentially. But anyway, I feel this video has gone on for far too long as it is. So again, this was the Minnie Mouse polka dot square from issue 40. We're getting on quite well now, aren't we? It's like we're almost halfway through. I know there was a long time where I wasn't able to make any videos because of my housing situation, but I feel like I am going quite well with it now. The only problem is, is I haven't had an delivery of any issues for quite a long time I think I've only got up to issue 50 so I will look into that and I will get some delivered ASAP because otherwise I think I might end up catching up on all the videos and then not actually have the wool and the magazines available to make anymore so if you could leave this video a like as I always say it just helps me to indicate who is using the videos because it's really difficult when I get no interaction on them for me to be able to see it as a viable thing to keep making the videos. Obviously, I don't want to be making them if no one's using them. Any comments below, like I said, leave me a comment if you think you'd like an alternative to what I think would be a neater stitch in any future, in any future videos. That's what I meant to say. And do hit the subscribe button if you wish to get a notification for the next video. So I guess all that's left to say is have an absolutely fantastic week. Enjoy your crocheting and I will see you soon. See you then.